back for more tests with the Ricoh Theta B, a 360 degree camera, live streaming over a Jetson Nano small board computer uh, using GStreamer. So right now I have the uh, sample code that we covered in an earlier video. Uh, this is GST Viewer uh, and it's displaying with quite good uh, latency. You can see in the background here with my hand how the, uh, the camera is reacting to it. So this screen's a little big um, on the sample code and also displays on the foreground so maybe if you're like me it's a it, it's a cool little demo but uh, it's kind of hard to do some tests on it so you can also use it as a, a streaming to dev video zero in my case So I already have the video for Linux 2 loopback module uh, installed. And because of that, I can send the uh, video signal from GST um, viewer to over to uh, the kernel and it will appear on dev video zero. So I'm first running GST loopback. Which is just a symbolic link to GST viewer right here. Now with uh, GST loopback running, I have access to dev video zero. So in this case you could use VLC, which is the media player, and access it on dev video zero. And latency is still pretty good. Uh, it's some lag obviously because it's going over uh, the loop back, but it's, it seems pretty good. So just as a test, you can also, of course, use GST launch itself, um, resize the image, um, do video con convert, video scale. I'll put this pipeline up. In order to test the video for Linux to source, I set up a, just a simple bash script here. You can see that all it does is scale the video to a width of 1000 and a height of 500, then it displays it to the screen. So it's Still running pretty good. I'll, I'll make the uh, width slightly bigger. So you can see it's pretty good.
or you could make it very small for testing on your computer. To uh, Python, if you were to access the If you were to access the uh, CV2, the uh, so OpenCV, you're importing it as a Python module. And we're just using CV2.resize as a test here. Running Python 2.7, because that was a default. And there is more latency, but it's probably still usable. I think for most uh, AI or detection applications, it kind of depends how fast you want to get it. I think if you rewrote it in C, it uh, would be faster, but it does appear to work in Python. Uh, this is just using the OpenCV resizer. I think if you use some different libraries on OpenCV, it might uh, slow down depending on the processing. But that's where we are. So you could use um, various uh, pipelines pretty easily from the command line with the GST launch or um, to, you know, to test it out to or you could use an OpenCV and some simple Python scripts also to test it out, grab the frames, and then apply the AI processing to it. So have fun with your uh, NVIDIA Jets Nano, which is running pretty hot right now, <laughs> and quite hot, the heatsink, and the Rico Theta. This will work with the V and the Z 